Good morning. Happy Wednesday. My name is Whitney. This is my YouTube channel, Whit Makes, where I share things I'm making. And I'm here today with my little monthly currently video. It's a little chatty. I do have lots of projects, knit and sewing, knitting and sewing to show with you and some other stuff as well. I will have a blog post below with everything I talked about linked. And yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my purple bob pants. These are this is part of my style arc. I can't remember if I made these last year or two years ago. I have no concept of time with my makes lately. <laughs> and this is an oversized button down that I got from Madewell for my spring capsule. I was going to make one, but I ended up buying it and I love it. And then I have this bralette that I picked up from California when I went at a little local boutique by my sister-in-law's house and my brother by their house. And it is so comfy. I love the idea of just wearing it alone with pants, but it is still kind of chilly here in Colorado. It's been very rainy and it's nice to have some layers. So I have a little bit of an oversized vibe going on with some oversized hoops as well, but it's fine. I am just momming this week. Uh, it's our, so we had our vacation last week. I was out of town and this week we're kind of getting into the summer groove and it's quite nice. So, but I thought I'd get dressed today and film this video. I have not felt like filming anything. I was going to do a little vlog for Friday <clears throat> and I picked up my camera earlier this week and I was like, I don't want to do this. So I'm not, so this will be the only video this week, but then hopefully next week, um, I do have a lot of things that I want to share and talk about, so hopefully we can get in a rhythm here. But I thought I would start with this little currently video, and yeah, let's dive into it. So, did I already say this? I will have a blog post <laughs> linked below where I will have everything I talk about linked, and I'm going to look at my computer because I have to keep me on track of what I want to share. So... This is where I just go through things that I'm currently doing in my life. So watching, oh, we finally finished Succession. I loved it. I loved that show from beginning to end. I love the ending. My husband wasn't so keen on the final episode. No spoilers, but he was a little like, I don't know. But I called it and... um what I thought was going to happen happened. Not, I had no idea how it would get there, but it got there and I loved it. And I just, so you know my love of the show. <laughs> and Tom is my favorite character. Oh, I have this tied up. I'll have to show you. I, my best friend made me a Tom ornament. <laughs> it's just his face. Um, and I have it hanging in my craft room because it brings me such joy to look up from my computer and see Tom right there. <laughs> so I am sad that show's over and I don't know what we're going to watch next because where do we go from here? I think we might do the new Ted Lasso. It'll be completely different, shorter episodes because <laughs> we're so tired by the end of the night. That's why it took us so long to get to succession. Um, so Anyway, that's what we've been watching. And then we've been watching the NBA Finals and we were very excited that the Nuggets won and my kids want to go to the parade, <laughs> which I think is tomorrow. So I don't know. <clears throat> I've never done an NBA like championship parade. I don't know how those work. I'm going to let my husband figure it out. But that's what we've been watching. And um, yeah, so currently reading. I have been reading a lot and I have my reading Instagram account linked below and I just I only share books after I finish them. Um, and I, I give reviews, but I kind of also, even if I don't like it, I try to tell you what it was about and why it didn't, I didn't like it, but you might or whatever. So, but not everything. I'm not going to be like, it was wonderful for everything. I want to be honest and say, <laughs> what it what the vibe was um because when I'm looking for books sometimes it's just really helpful for people like this is a great beach read if you want something serious this is great if you want a long luxurious read this is great <laughs> so that's what I try and share but I have two books um first 
yeah, I have two books that I'm going to talk about. The first one I finished so quickly. This is the Agents of Agents of the Crown is the series by Oliver Clements. And this is the first one, The Eyes of the Queen. This was so fun. I already had the other one checked out from the library. Um, it's historical fiction, but it's a thriller. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Basically, it's kind of like, well, here we go. It's about an Elizabethan, Elizabethan James Bond. That's a perfect, yes. So Queen Elizabeth the first is queen and it has spies, it has intrigue. I will say, if you like to listen to books <clears throat> and you have little ears, I always try to be mindful <laughs> like with content. There is some weird stuff in there, but I think if you were listening to it and like in the car or something, or like sometimes I'll play my audiobook like while I'm cleaning the kitchen or something, I don't think kids would understand what's happening. So there's not like any explicit scenes, but there is a storyline that <laughs> deals with um, things of sexual nature that just, it's not like, I'm not like being prudish or anything. I just, I read a lot with my kids around and I listen to books a lot with my kids around. And I just, if you do too, like while you're sewing, just, I like to be made aware if like something's gonna pop up, but there is reference to stuff, but I don't think, kids would have to be like really listening. And I still don't think they would get it. <clears throat> so that's, I finished that really quickly. And then I started this, I, I think you said it's Mame. Uh, by Jessica George. For, I brought this book down from my bedside table. First of all, my nails match it, um, even though I need to redo them. This is the most beautiful cover. But I've started this. This is a debut novel, and it's a coming of age, really, about this young woman and um, her dealing with her family, her dealing with her dad has Parkinson's, her dealing with being an immigrant. I just started it, but so far I really like it. And I really love the young woman that is trying to find herself in this book. So a bit of a pivot from the eyes of the queen, but um, it's good. Okay, so that's what I'm reading. I am still listening to Orquita Divina, Inheritance of Orquita Divina. I have like three hours left. I did not listen last week to my book at all, but I plan to finish that this week while I'm, like I said, folding laundry, cleaning. Sometimes while I'm sewing, I will, pardon Sam, he's singing in the background. Um, I'll have that on, but I love an audiobook for during my day. So that's what I'm listening to. And making, let's talk about everything I'm making. So, sewing wise, yesterday I whipped up my very first Somar camisole by Paradise Patterns using this random leftover rib knit that I had, that I had in my stash and I used like every last bit of it. And this is a twall, like my stitches aren't great. I had to, I ran out of the right thread that matched, but I just wanted to get the fit of this. It's very similar to the Zoe Tank by True Bias. In fact, I think when I review this, I'll talk about that a little bit. And I'm going to make a Zoe Tank dress here pretty soon so I can really compare. But I've seen this all over Instagram. It has a shelf bra built into it. It's fantastic, I love it. So this is gonna be like a lounge. Oh, and I ran out of thread so I didn't hem it. <laughs> This is going to be like a sleep shirt kind of a thing. Um, I have some leggings that match it that are kind of the same. I don't love this fabric, um, but I just wanted to try this pattern and I'm really glad I did. And now I have one, two, three, four, five more that I want to make using up some knit scraps. Now, some of them I might not have enough. I had another rib knit that I was like, ooh, I'll make a cami out of that. And I vastly overestimated how much fabric I had left. And I was like, oh, this could be like maybe a bra. Um, 
not a full cami. But anyway, I am going to cut those out today. I need to order some more elastic for the little bralette. And um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of working on. And then I'm also going to order the hardware for my Riley overall. So those are like my next two projects. And so I'm going to cut those out, order that stuff. And then today I might work on my Ilford jacket. I'm looking at it up there um, and get that sewn together. It's pretty, it's a quick make. And then I want to do my embroidery on it. So that's what I'm currently sewing, thinking about sewing and what I hope to get done today for knitting. I have a lot going on here. I finished the handmade socks aside. I don't have them down here with me. The, um, shadow box socks using my farmer's daughter fiber may yarn love them the fit is fantastic i'll share them soon and i cast on a few other socks <laughs> so i cast on my copeland dk the second sock i have one sock finished and i would like to get this second sock finished and i think i can do this fairly quickly so um i've started the ribbing I'm going to finish the cuff today and probably start on the foot. Um, it's a DK sock, so it's going to go a little faster. But this is using the February Farmer's Daughter Fiber Sock Squad. And yeah, so I've cast that sock on. And then cast on another sock. But this is a toe-up sock. This is the Trusty Toe Up by Tannis Fiber Arts. This is a free pattern and I am halfway through the toe shaping, but this, sorry, I'm kind of blown out. This yarn is so pretty. This is a Woolberry Fiber Co. This is from my Shop La Mercerie. This is the February sock subscription. I just wanted to cast it on and I like, I don't know, it's, I'm doing magic loop or the other one I'm doing a nine inch circular, the other one's DK, this is fingering weight. I just kind of been picking one up depending on what I feel like. So summer of socks is happening. I thought I would knit a lot more on my, um, <laughs> we almost had a disaster right there, on my trip and I didn't. I knit a little bit on my sock. I did do a sleeve on the sweater I'm about to show you, but, um, I just wasn't in the mood, so I didn't. All right, and then I have finished the sleeves and I'm on the body of my Give Me the Tea. This is from the 52 Weeks of Easy Knits by Lina Magazine, and I'm like losing steam on this. It looks really tiny. I put it on barber cords and tried it on. It's going to be a little bit more fitted than I expected. And we'll talk about that when I review this pattern and go into depth on it. But I do, I love this color and it's, I want to finish it. So I have decided as of this morning, this is going to be my 30 minutes of knitting every morning. So I have my cup of coffee. I knit on this for 30 minutes and that's what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to finish it, but I am not inspired to like, just work on this like there's another project i'm going to show you um, that i want to make so but i'm going to keep this i'm going to work on it every day and we're going to get it finished i don't think it'll take that long but i'm just having trouble getting motivated to pick it up and i'm not really sure why um i don't know i don't know why but we'll examine those thoughts when we do a deep dive into that pattern all right and so that's my making Currently, I am feeling <clears throat> I am feeling a little funky about like my body right now, and I don't really know. I'm just not loving how clothes are feeling, how they're fitting. Um, I've been doing, I've been working out. I'm taking care of myself. I need to eat like probably a little bit healthier. We on vacation, you know, we were drinking and. <clears throat> eating crap and it's in the car, lots of tri lots of chips and stuff. But so I'm like trying to reset a little bit, trying to be kind to myself. I haven't, I put my scale away. It's not even the weight. I'm not quite sure what it is, but 
I think that's one reason with the tea that I am a little meh on it because it's a little closer fitting than I was expecting and my gauge is right. I'm just, I'm just feeling a little off with body stuff. Nothing like whatever. And it's fine. I don't need like a, I know it's probably more mental or emotional or something. something's happening and I, I need to examine a little bit. I do think coming back home, exercising, working out, um, getting outside, eating healthy foods, sleeping well, taking care of myself um, will help. But I'm going to be honest and say, haven't been feeling great about the outside of myself lately. Um, which when you make your clothes and like you want to take pictures and share, you know, kind of affects that. So I'm just going to be honest about that, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> but that's how I'm feeling. Planning. Okay. So I know I just put up my June plans video and I was going to cast on my weekender, but um, who is this? Is this, oh no. Is this Knit Pearl Girl? Hold on, let me find this. It's the Farnham T, I believe. Let's look it up together because I, yes, the Knit Pearl Girl. All right, this is the Farnham T. It's a striped T. And um, she used <clears throat> a DK weight. I have all of this cotton yarn, which I was thinking would be, um, I was gonna make like a market tote bag. I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna swatch for this today. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna swatch for this. I'm gonna see if I like it. I would love to use up all of this cotton yarn that I have and try this t-shirt. I think it's really cute. I think um, stripes knit up quickly for me. I don't know, they're gonna try. I'm gonna cast this on today and play around with it and see if I like it. And if I don't, I will do something else. But I did buy the pattern. I have it printed out. I print out my patterns. Um, so I think, I think let me cast this on. I'm gonna go crazy and do a new cast on. And then I got my sock squad for June. So if you don't wanna see it, skip ahead. But this is from Farmer's Daughter Fiber. And it's this, which I'm not gonna lie, is not my most favorite colorway but I am going to cake this up and I will use this for the June uh, Helen Stewart Handmade Sock Society that she released a couple weeks ago. So I've printed that out. It's cabling. It'll be my first time cabling. And I mean, maybe I'll like this more knit up, but we'll see. I don't think I like it with the chocolate brown, but I don't think I'm gonna do contrast anyway, so. We'll just knit this baby up. So those are my plans for the immediate future. And my final currently is loving. I am loving that it's summer. I've been like so excited for it. I am loving these lazy mornings. Um, it's 8.45 right now. I still have an hour and then I take kids to camp. I The kids are helping me with chores. I would like a little more sunshine. The sun seems to be coming out now. It's been very rainy, so we haven't been able to be outside very much, but it's only when, I mean, you know, it's the beginning of summer. This is what happens. So I'm also loving, they are building my deck. <clears throat> well, they're digging the giant holes to start building my deck. And I'm so, I just cannot wait to sit out on my beautiful deck among the trees, on my summer mornings, I'll take my knitting out there. We'll do our 30 minutes of knitting outside. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> I cannot wait for it to be done. Um, everything is green. There's like wildflowers everywhere. It's just beautiful. So I am loving the start of summer so far. All right, that's my currently. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope to be back in the groove next week and to have more to share. And I hope that wherever you are, you are having a great um, start middle of your June. It's middle of June already, isn't it? And that you're getting to make things that you love. Read books that you love. Eat food that you love. Feel good about yourself. All right. Until next time, happy sewing, happy making. And um, I will talk to you then.